hey what's going on guys welcome back to this youtube channel and this is the third part of our laravel tutorial series and in this video uh, we're going to talk about the basic routing and controllers but before we do that let's just run through the code or structure of our project right now so as we have mentioned before laravel uses the model view controller or mvc uh, format or structure so here in our project there's um, specific areas for those types of things so there's specific areas for the model there's a specific area for the view and specific area for our controller so we're going to uh, get to that later on on this video and if we try to open the app folder here we can see uh, the user that PHP file which is this is actually a model and we won't go through the code right now but this particular file is a user or I mean a, a model user that PHP and we can uh, add all the models here inside the app folder but we can actually use or we can actually have a another folder here so we can add project folder here and try to name it as models if we have if we have like uh, 50 or 100 models for our project so we can add a subfolder for this app folder but if you have only maybe less than 10 or less than 20 models you can just leave it here inside the app folder and also if you try to open up the uh, app folder and under http and then controllers here we can see the base controller that php which is uh, extending the base controller and all the methods and functions of this base controller we can use it in our controller files and also laravel um, creates a folder for the other controllers such as uh, the lag in controller register controller and uh, reset password controller so all of these controllers we can use uh, you, we can use this readily if you try to uh, enable the oath for our project and if we try to create a controller we can actually manually uh, create a file here or a f uh, that php file which is for our controller and also we can use or we can create a model by just manually adding it here but the best way for adding controllers and and the model is by using the artisan now if you're wondering what is this namespace um, namespace app so this is just basically grouping our classes or our code so this is uh, pretty common if, especially if you're working the object oriented way of programming so uh, we're just basically grouping our, our classes and try to uh, distinguish between different classes and the same classes inside this directory and also if you see the illuminate here uh, don't get confused uh, it, it is just basically a core files or co core functions coming from the laravel so don't worry about this now views are going to be on the resources folder and under resources views and then here we have the welcome that played that php and as we all know that laravel uses the blade templating system so it is just basically a an html with dynamic mechanism in them so we can see uh if statement we can see um, loops we can see variables by using the blade templating system okay so now that we get uh, that out of the way we can uh, go to basic routing for our project so basically we what we want is to add a pages controller with, where we can add the about pages uh, home pages um, contact or any other page that we want to add in our project so if we try to go to our project and routes here and uh, web 
we can see uh, we can see here that we have the route and colon colon and then the type of request that we want and then the URL and of course the function that uh, returns something or uh, put a lot of operation inside this function so we'll try that for now and try let's try to open up our project in our browser so here is our project and pk project loc slash so here's the home page where we can see all the links and the title uh, laravel now let's try and go back to our code and try to edit and instead of uh, returning the welcome we can just return something like a text or a string so return hello world something like this and then save and let's go back to our browser and refresh so as you can see we have here the hello world um, text that we can see and it, it is coming from our uh, router or route and get and then the URL which is the slash represent the home page of our project and of course the string uh, hello world okay so for now let's copy this and let's just return this to the original for our index so this is the home page of our app or application and this will be the hello uh, page of our project so this is basically we're just going to display hello world and we can just we can also add html tag in here so just like that and then save and let's go back to our browser and and refresh so pk project loc this will be the home page right and if we try to add hello here it will display our updated hello world string and this is with the h1 tab now if you are trying to submit the form or you are going to delete something so you can just um, uh, change this into post if you are submitting uh, by a form. So working with the route is very easy. So say for example, we have pages in our project and let's try to go to, where is it? Resources. And then uh, we want to separate our pages here. So let's just add a pages folder and in this folder we're going to create another file which is the name of our file will be the about um about that blade that php okay so in our about that blade that php we can just say about okay save that one and let's go back to our route file and instead of i think we're just going to change this into get and then let's just copy and paste this here so instead of hello so we're just going to name it about or the url will be slash about and then instead of returning the HTML so we're going to return the view now and notice that we have the the about view inside our pages folder so we're just going to add pages and then add that or period there and then the keyword about so let's try it save the file and let's go back to our browser Okay, so here we are at our browser and instead of using the hello, let's change it into about. So as you can see here, we have the about uh, word here that is coming from our uh, about.blade.php file. 
And also, there are times that we need to submit dynamic values in our request. So say, for example, we want to submit or we want to request a user with this particular ID. So let's go back to our web.php file. And let's just copy this. So instead of just using the about, let's change it, I think, for uh, change it to users. And then uh, in order for us to be able to submit an ID, so we can just add a placeholder here. And this will represent our ID. And inside our function, it should have a parameter ID that represents the ID of the user. So instead of returning the view for now let's just uh, display this is a user and then we're just going to add the name or the, the id of the user so let's just save this and go back to our browse and refresh so instead of using the about so let's go ahead and try to open up the users and let's try to submit 15 so this is a user 15 or so for example name name of the user is joe this is a user is joe but most of most of the time we are, we are uh, requesting a particular id and then based on that id we can uh, query that into our database all right guys i think that's it for this particular video and in the next video we're going to discuss how to create controllers inside our laravel project thanks